we as humans focus a lot on our notifications and not really realizing that these are constant disruptions to the potential to be more productive. Just the act of pulling the phone out of our pocket and holding it tends to make us feel more comfortable and in tune with the rest of the world. But how much is too much? Are you more dedicated to your phone than you are to yourself? If so, what can you do about it? We're going to explore three tips you can implement right now to help you beat phone addiction. Sometimes we get so caught up in making sure we didn't miss an alert that we actually forget how to relax. And we forget for so long that we start wondering, why do I feel so flustered? Why am I feeling so overwhelmed? I've really gotten to the point in the past where I truly couldn't put my finger on what's causing me to feel so rushed in a sense. I always wanted to see how many new likes I got on my latest Instagram post, how many new friend requests I have on Facebook. But I want to tell you right now, it's okay to not know. It's all right to miss that most recent notification, letting you know about something interesting found on Pinterest. I know those mobile gaming apps are so fun. I've played them and you just have to beat that high score. But how much of your valuable time is it eating away at? I found myself standing behind my grocery cart, looking at my phone and scrolling for no reason other than to see what's on my Instagram timeline. Now, the question is, how do you beat this phone addiction? Almost all of us have a cell phone with do not disturb as an included feature. That's step number one, learn to use it. Now, there's no expectation that you can go without your phone 24 seven, but set a reasonable time and dedicate that quiet time to something productive or something rejuvenating or maybe just sleep. Even while in bed, many of us can't put that phone on the nightstand without scrolling through Instagram just a few more times. Do not disturb can really be a great tool to reclaim some of your you time and it doesn't cost you a dime to take advantage of it and once you start using it over time you'll see that putting those notifications on pause won't actually hurt you now for me i primarily use it at night when i know i've done all of my work i've gotten things done throughout the day that i needed to complete and i just want to take some time to wind down before i actually get in bed so after dinner after the shower, I don't want to have to check any more notifications because I want to put my brain on rest before I'm actually resting. And after using Do Not Disturb for a while, I really found myself just leaving it on throughout the day. Because if I truly want to dedicate myself to something I'm doing right then and there, if I truly want to be in the moment, focused on my tasks, I don't need to check notifications every couple of minutes. And something to remember, just because you don't check a notification right away doesn't mean it's going to go away. It's not going to just disappear and you're never going to see what the alert was. So you don't really have to worry about that. Step number two, get rid of some of those apps. Now, speaking from experience, I use a lot of apps. As a whole, as a people, I feel that we use a lot of apps on our phones for many different reasons. And some of them are actually a good thing. Some of them actually make us more productive. And I'll cover those in another video. But some of those apps are really more consuming than others. Not only are they time consuming, but they're mind consuming. Even when you're focused on something else, many apps that we use, they stay in the back of our minds throughout the day. And we just look forward to the next time we can still a moment to open that app up. Of course, the consuming apps will vary from person to person, but for me, I had to delete Facebook and I've had to delete Instagram. I literally took a social media hiatus away from two of the biggest apps that I've used. Those two apps alone accounted for over 80% of my notification volume, excluding text messages. That was way too much for me. And I know it's really, really scary to think about being disconnected, but 
it's really truly liberating to not constantly think about the next set of likes and comments. You might struggle in the beginning to let go of some of those apps and interactions you've become used to. And it's okay to struggle in the beginning. Any new change can be a tough change, but that's okay. You can still do it. If you really want the opportunity to feel a bit more accomplished at the end of the day or at the end of the night or even the end of the week, it will be worth it to get rid of those apps. Not forever. This is not something you have to do forever, but it's at least worth a try. I just want to reiterate that you don't have to worry. Those apps, those notifications, all of your likes, all of your comments, they will still be there when you return. Now, the third way to beat your phone addiction is to replace that desire to constantly check your phone with something a bit less destructive, like finally reading that book you bought three weeks ago. And if you didn't already grab a new book, take the time to physically go into the bookstore and browse the aisles. Don't search for the book on your phone. Actually go find it, buy it, and read it. Now I would leave links in the video description to books that I've recently read that I've felt that really made a positive change in my life, but I don't want you clicking on the links. I'll leave the titles in the description without the links because I want you to actually go out to the bookstore to find the books. And that's only if you want to. But if it's not any of the books that I recommend, there are so many other options to choose from. Just choose one or two. Now, old habits are not going to be broken overnight. And it's going to take a period of trial and error to find what ultimately works for you and your personality type. Don't look at failure as an ending. As long as you continue to try to break yourself out of the phone addiction bubble, you're building the foundation for success. I can't say to you that I'm completely cured and I'll never, I'll never pat my pockets for my phone again when I'm working or when I'm standing in line at the airport. I can tell you I've made a positive change and I've taken steps in the right direction. And I want the same for you. I never truly thought that it was just me alone out here constantly feeling that urge to touch my phone. And I don't want you to feel that you're alone. You're not. And while you're here, hop down in the comment section and share your thoughts with me. Maybe you've already conquered phone addiction and you want to chat about it. Let's start a conversation. I'm really looking forward to engaging with all of you guys. So if you found this to be informative at all, feel free to share it. That's my time and I'll catch you in the next episode.